let's see how to install third-party Python packages in QGIS. So here, the QGIS Python console has a lot of default libraries or packages, but there are some important ones that are not installed by default. So if you need to use those libraries in your QGIS Python console, you need to install them. So here are some lists or packages that are not installed in a QGIS Python environment, and I would like to install them. For example, the GeoPy, which is a package that enables geocoding on data. Volume, this generates web maps from a leaflet JavaScript library. So, so pandas, which is a data manipulation and analysis library, and so much more. So there are a lot of useful Python packages or libraries that are not installed in QGIS. So for example, if I try to import GeoPy, import GeoPy, I will get this error. Likewise, if I do the same thing for Olio, I also just get this error. So it means these packages are not installed. So we need to install them to be able to use them directly in the QGIS environment. So no model name GeoPy, no model name Folio. So likewise, if I do the same thing for other packages, such as Pandas and others. So here I have useful uh, snippet, which you can use. For example, the fourth snippet here is if you want to check all the available modules in uh, in the QGIS environment, you just need to type help then modules. This will list all the installed modules in the QGIS Python environment. So to get started installing third-party library in QGIS, you need to go to your search search option here and then search for OSGeo os geo shared so this comes with your qgis installation so right click on it and then select open file location so from the folder that pops up right click on the icon and then select run as administrator so you are going to have these uh, administrators open your shell command prompt so here this is the command prompt directly linked to the python installation that comes with uh, qgis so here if i type python directly enter i will see that it is by default using a uh, python 2.7 and if i go back to my qgis if i try to check the python version i'm using by importing if i import the sys module then i will check for the sys version i will see that the version of python here is 3.6 so it means if i go ahead and use the console the way it is by default automatically whatever i'm going to install is installing on python 2.7 in which is not the python that is being used here so i would like to install my modules on python 3 which is the default python used in the python console of qgis so i'll go back to the command prompt here i'm going to exit so from here what i need to do is to switch to python 3 and i can easily do that using this uh, command here so to switch from python 2 to python 3 i just need to use this uh, this snippet py3 underscore mv so this will change the environment to python 3 so let's change the environment python 3 underscore environment so this has changed the path to python 3 let's confirm that by typing python so as you can see this is python 3.6 which is the exact python version that is being used in the python console so we can exit then next we need to install the packages we listed earlier so for example i'm going to install a gpy then followed by other ones so let's start by installing gpy so to install gpy you need to type in this syntax here so to ensure but before then you need to make sure that pip is active just in case if you run into issue when you run the command and it's saying it says pip is not recognized or pip is not uh, installed then you need to make sure you run this command to make sure that uh, pip is installed or pip is active on your environment if pip is active the next thing you need to do is to type in this command to install any of the packages you want so python dash m pip install then the library name so here this flag m is actually going to call the pip module and then run it as a script so that is the essence of this uh, m flag so let's go back to the command prompt so to install gpy i will just type python then the m flag to make sure that the pip module is imported and run as a script so pip install then the name of the package or the library i want to install so here i'm going to install gpy so make sure your system is connected to the internet then press enter so it is collecting gpy package and installing it so here i have the package installed successfully so if i go back to my python console in qgis and i decide to import gpy you'll see that i have gpy imported without error so if i go back do the same thing for folio folio install polio 
Folium will also be installed, just like that. So the same thing for Pandas and any other package I want to install. So just install them, then you should be able to import and use the packages for Leon. Likewise, if I do import Pandas. So as you can see, all the packages are installed correctly and are imported correctly. So this is how to go about installing your third-party packages for use in QGIS Python console. Remember that if you run into any issue of pip not being recognized, make sure you run this snippet to activate pip on your Python installation. Thank you for watching and I hope uh, this video is useful.